So today we're going to be taking a look at the Belkin 3-in-1 Wireless Charging Pad Boost Charge Pro. Now that's a mouthful to say, but this thing should be awesome. Now, over here you can charge the Apple iPhone, AirPods, and Apple Watch. Faster wireless charging up to 15 watts for the iPhone and up to 33% faster charging for Apple Watch Series 7 or newer. So looking around to the side, this is a diagram of kind of what you're expecting to get. And on the back it says, never mix a call, extend your playlist, and close your rings. This monitor minimal pad charges all your Apple devices in one place. Now there's a bunch more information here. Fast charge your Apple Watch, zero to 80% in 45 minutes. Pick a view, lay flat, or use nightstand mode for the Apple Watch. Made for MagSafe for effortless iPhone alignment and take it anywhere. Compact design fits into your bag. So this is me. It says for iPhone 13 Pro Max. I guess this is a couple years old, but never too late to pick up a MagSafe charger. And I was able to actually find this on sale at Target for 50 bucks. Now, this price originally, I believe, is around $100 to $150. So if you can catch it on sale, this is a buy for sure. So let's go ahead and take a look at it now. Let's go ahead and unbox it real quick. We'll take our little knife, slice that open, and let's take a look at the box. Now, looking as soon as you open it, you get this nice little pull tab, and in here you get your charging brick. Pretty big charger here from Belkin, and it's not like USB Type-C or anything. It is just one of these proprietary connectors. So nothing too crazy. You do get your charging brick, but it's nice that it does detach in order to be able to travel with it. And inside here, you just get a little bit of information, a little product manual and things like that. And we do get our Belkin Boost Charge. Now, this thing's got some weight to it for sure. Let's take a look. I really like this nice little sleeve here, little Belkin branding right there. And let's take a look at it together for the first time. Now this thing, like I said, it's definitely got a little bit of weight to it. Very smooth over here on the top of it. You do have your MagSafe pad right there standard wireless charging pad and your Apple Watch stand, which I believe should come up, as well as if you look at the bottom here, this is something that I've seen and it's really interesting. So if you look over here, it's got different kinds of Apple Watches based on their size. So 38, 40, 41 right here, 42, 44, 45, so like your Apple Watch Ultra or anything like that, 38, 40, 41, 42, 44, 45. Now these are different wattages, I'm assuming, that you can go ahead and just switch this over to, and it'll charge whichever amount of wattage that this charger detects that you need. So you can read the instruction manual, figure out which one exactly you need to use or want to use. Just turn this, it's fairly easy to turn, doesn't require any kind of screws or anything, but you just gotta kinda hook it with your fingernail, and you can turn it around just like that, left and right, etc. And this does come out, so you can use your Apple Watch in nightstand mode like this when it's sitting there. So very, very nice packaging and very nice feeling of this base. I like it a lot, and I don't think this is gonna slide around anywhere on your desk or your nightstand, whatever, because it does have this, this whole bottom right here is this rubbery silicone material. So you don't have to worry about it sliding anywhere around your desk or anything like that. You'll be good to go. So let's go ahead and plug this in and we'll test it out. All right, now, so we've got it all plugged in. Let's go ahead and test this out. So we'll take our black titanium 15 pro max right now and just set it right here on the charger. There you go. It is charging right there. You can see I got the Apple charging little thing right up there. I don't know why I didn't get the MagSafe animation, but you can see right there it is charging. And on the pad right here, we can go ahead and set our AirPods. You can see that's charging right there, the little white LED light. And here I do have my wife's Apple Watch. I don't own an Apple Watch myself, but this is my wife's and you can take it and slide it on like this. But because she has one of these solo type loops, I'm just gonna go ahead and pop this out. And we'll take our Apple Watch and set it on right here. And you have, oh, and you have your charging animation right there for the Apple Watch. Now hers is dead as per usual, but there you go. I mean, this is what it's gonna look like when it's charging. We have my iPhone charging, we have the AirPods charging, and the Apple Watch charging right here. It is charging, you can kind of see right down there. So very highly recommended. There's this, this is a super clean look. You got that one cable that doesn't protrude through the back over here so it's not like wobbly or anything. There is a little divot on the bottom 
that you guys saw previously in the video that where you put your charging cable. Here, I can show you that right now. It's actually nice and tucked away right there. So very easy to get in and out. And when you use the charger, actually, it doesn't rock or anything like that. So again, this is the Belkin 3-in-1 Boost Charge Pad. So let me know what you guys think about this. Like I said, I'll leave links down to it in the description below. But if you can catch this on sale, I highly recommend it. This is a really, really nice MagSafe base. Very much reminds me of the Nomad because it's, it's almost like the same material. Now, Nomad's is a little bit heavier and it's got glass and a little more metal, a little bit more premium feeling. But this one is not, not premium at all or anything like that, meaning it is premium as well. Very nice MagSafe on there. Clicks the case on. There we go. There's our MagSafe animation. Clips the Apple Watch on. You don't have to worry about anything stopping the charge. And you get this little white light right here just so you know that the thing in the middle is charging. Now, I don't believe that light works if the there's nothing on the pad here. I think it's only signifying that this pad specifically right here in the middle is charging something. But let's test that out real quick for ourselves. We'll set our iPhone there. Doesn't look like that light is on. Set the Apple Watch. Nope, okay, so it does only come on when you set something on the wireless charging pad right there. It will come on right there. So again, I really highly recommend this. I think this is gonna look great on any nightstand, any office setup. You do just get that one little cable that if you guys can kind of tuck away, that'll make it look super, super clean. I think I might keep this somewhere around my nightstand or at my office on the desk. So let me know what you guys think about this. Would you get it? What do you think about it? Let me know in the comments below. Make sure you like and comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.